Welcome back to Colorist Factory. Here we are with another quick tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to give a cinematic touch to your footage without using any LUT whatsoever. Now, know that LUTs are very important tools. Right LUT on the right footage can save you a lot of time and effort, but the approach we'll be using today gives us more control and is way more flexible. Let's not wait around anymore and get started. We have our colour corrected footage on the timeline. If you don't know how to colour correct, check out the link in the description. Alright, let's drop a Lumetri panel. Rename it to Grade. We will try to shift our colours in this palette's colour space. It's a very popular choice of palette and has already been seen in a ton of high budget feature films. As we can see that the entire tone is somewhat teal, first let's go to colour wheels and let's shift the midtones to teal blue. Play around with it a little to find the right spot. Now let's push the highlights towards a yellow tone. We want the highlights to go with our teal midtones. You can also push it towards orange or green as well, but for now we will go with yellow for the sake of our palette. Also, I'm pushing highlights way more than midtones. With the kind of palette we are aiming at, we want the highlights to look more saturated. Now, if you look closely, while we were playing with the midtones, the blue colour bled too much into the shadows. Gotta fix that before we move ahead. In the shadows wheel, increase the reds just a slight touch so that we can cancel out the excess blue in the shadows. That's it. Now, still, there are areas in the midtones region that are looking blue rather than teal. So what we're going to do is head to the curves, blue curve, and we will pull down the midtone from here. That's better. We have our teal colour now. Now for that orange tint. We will focus on this warm curtain area of the footage. Let's drop in another Lemetri panel, renaming it to orange. We're going to place it above the grey Lemetri panel, and we will turn the grey panel off so that we can pick the actual colour with our colour picker. In the curves, hue versus saturation, let's pick this warm colour here in the curtain. And as always, we prefer to reset these points manually so that we can have more range of colours. Let's punch up the orange. You can see the effect on the curtains. Let's turn on the greyed Lemetri panel. Do the same with the hue versus hue. Select the corresponding points. This curve seems way off, fixing it real quick. So yeah, punch up the orange in the hue. Maybe push the hue here on this curve to red a little. We can play around a little more. This is it. So here's a quick before and after. To give a final touch, we can add film grain on top of it from our Ultimate Colorist Toolkit. Just scale it appropriately and choose Hard Light or Overlay. You can change the opacity as required. It's purely an aesthetic choice. So that's how you add cinematic tone within seconds. If you want to create cinematic grades in no time, we are offering our brand new, first of its kind, colour grade solution. Power Curves. A set of masterfully calibrated grades engineered to work with any footage. These are way different to LUTs, extremely efficient and compatible with DaVinci, Final Cut Pro and of course Premiere Pro and After Effects. We've included a link in the description if you want to check these out. Make sure to subscribe here to stay updated and follow us on Instagram at colorist.factory. That's all for now, we'll be back with some more exciting stuff soon.